My name is Nyla Barnes. I'm a graduate of Spelman College and a Mellon undergraduate curatorial fellow here at the High Museum of Art. We're in Off the Grid, an exhibition co-curated by myself and the other two Mellon undergraduate curatorial fellows, Nyard Zamahachi and Sojourner Hunt, as well as my mentor, Dr. Catherine Gentleson, the curator of folk and self-taught art here at the High. The exhibition expands the study of artists using grids beyond canonical minimalist and abstract artists such as Saul Witt to include textile artists such as G's Bend quilter, Agatha Bennett, photographers such as Sheila Prebright, assemblage artists such as Ronald Lockett and Howardina Pendel, and many other artists of diverse backgrounds and media-based practices. This exhibition offers the widest view to date of the kinds of artists who were interested in working off the grid. Today I will be talking about this piece, untitled number 28, photographed by Sheila Prebright in 2007. Sheila Prebright is the daughter of a soldier, meaning that she moved around quite a bit when she was a child, even spending some time internationally. But she relocated and set down her creative roots in Georgia in 2000. What was really interesting about Georgia and with specificity Atlanta for her practice is this large population of socially mobile black American families, especially given the backdrop of overt systemic racism that still has many scars on the city and on the state. One thing a viewer might notice about this piece is that people are completely absent. Though it's a home, we're left wondering whose home is it? What are these objects? What do they represent about the homeowners and their identities? These are all questions that Sheila Prebright was interrogating when she created the entire body of work that Entitled 28 is situated in that she calls suburbia. As this photograph shows, Sheila Prebright wanted this body of work to be a window into the homes and the lives of these families, not staged or curated for the photographs. The stylish mid-century bookshelf forms a gridded backdrop for several objects on view, including masks from continental Africa, books including The End of Blackness and retrospectives on Pablo Picasso and Frida Kahlo, which together create an air of worldliness and erudition. What drew me to this piece is a feeling of performed perfection that comes out of the frame. By using the visual of the grid, this piece interrogates expectations of resilience and respectability within the Black community as a protective measure against the harmful effects of prejudice and systemic racism.